In the next two weeks, Michael will be taken aback when he learns who Aurora's new sponsor is. Carly will disclose that she is responsible for Aurora's unexpected increase in stock price. Carly putting this much money on the line will upset him. However, he will be grateful for her assistance and pleased with the outcome of her decision. On the other hand, Valentine will try tirelessly to win Ned's support and maintain control of ELQ, which might have a significant impact on the objectives of Drew and Michael. Likewise, Spencer will focus on exploiting Esme's history by looking for Maggie to ask about the evil teen's father. Meanwhile, Esme will attempt to calm Ryan's rage about her choice to postpone the cheating scandal. She will try to convince him to wait for some time. Moreover, she appears to be heading for a confrontation with Felicia, who is unaware that Esme may be her daughter. As for Ava, she will think over Nick's proposal for the vow renewal. Later, Sonny will encounter Carly, who wants to fix things between him and Michael. But Sonny could point out that there is no chance since his son is hellbent on destroying him. Trina and Jocelyn, on the other hand, will go on with their strategy to get Esme to surrender, and they'll ask Damien for help. Next, Finn and Gregory will take Violet and Elizabeth's kids on a camping trip. Of course, getting along with Cameron is going to be hard for Finn, but it will get better. And he will indeed enjoy the trip with the kids, including Wyatt and Austin. In the meantime, Curtis will see conflict rising between Selena and TJ at the Savoy, which will make him concerned for TJ. Chase and Brooklyn will also find something against Link, which could be useful, but that might ruin their scheme. Nina will then wonder if Sonny has a hidden goal, so he might try to divert her mind away from Wiley's case. Likewise, Valentin will confess something during his date with Anna. It could be about his role as the French captain or simply about his deep feelings for her. Victor, on the other hand, will consider Spencer's proposition and may agree to assist him in destroying Esme while Kevin will be her go-to guy for help. During the week of June 20 to 24th, GH will air its 1500th episode, and it will mainly focus on Laura. She will face a mysterious political threat, and Cyrus, along with many other cast members, is going to be spotlighted. The ELQ shareholders conference will begin while the merger turmoil proceeds and Val will have a significant dispute with Drew. Carly will seem happy later, so Valentine might lose even after all his efforts. Also, Chase's plan with Brooklyn is certain to fail. So now that he is on the verge of getting reinstated, this might jeopardize his career, but Brooklyn will be there for him. Furthermore, Sonny will stop Dex and Brando when they are fighting and tell them to get along, but Brando doesn't trust Dex at all. That's true since Dex works under Michael. Soon, Leo will learn of Michael's intentions towards his father, after which he might either approach him or inform somebody else about it, perhaps Sonny. Additionally, Dante will question Cody before they remince about the old days. As a result, it might reveal the incident in their past and also if they really concealed a crime. Sam and Dante will be caught off guard when they discover that Cody also seems to have a link with someone else on GH. At the Metro Court pool, while Shasha and Nina are battling with Olivia, Willow shows up. Later, she is likely to collapse in front of them and it is assumed that she could be expecting a child. If so, Michael will be concerned about Chasha and talk with her since she just lost her child. Last but not the least, Esme will flirt with Rory. However, he isn't likely to flirt back, but if he does, he might play her by appearing to be interested in her because he is completely devoted to Trina. So don't miss the drama ahead.